So this is your implant club kit right here. And with the implant club kit, you have a couple different options for your starting drill. You have your basic Lance pilot drill right here. You have your Lindemann drill, and you also have a round burr. So let's take a look at a couple of them. The Lance pilot drill, this is what it looks like. It's really standard. It's the most common way to start your preps. So you'll be using this most of the time. Now this one over here is your Lindemann pilot drill. Let's take a look at that one. So this is the Lindemann pilot drill. You can see it has these serrated edges, so it's good for use as a normal pilot drill, but also it has side cutting capability. It can be a little bit aggressive, so you should be careful when you use it. And the last one here to mention is this one right here, this round burr. So while the first two drills are the ones that you're gonna actually start your osteotomy with, you might actually be using this one first just to flatten the bone a little bit. So if you have a, a ridge that is sort of triangular or has any irregularities, you might be using this one just to flatten it up just a little bit. So let's go ahead and start a prep. We'll be starting with this guy right here, the Lance Pilot Drill. So before starting our prep, we're gonna change our settings on our motor. Okay, we're gonna change the torque settings to 45, and we're gonna set our speed to 800. 800 RPM and 45 Newton centimeters are the right settings for our pilot drill. So after you've already made your flap, so here you see I've already made some intracircular incisions. So you should be able to see your buckle wall and be able to see your lingual wall. By having access to both the buckle and lingual borders, you'll be able to see exactly how wide that ridge is and you can pinpoint exactly where the midpoint is. So just to make things a little bit easier for you to see, I've gone ahead and I've cut away the gingiva. You will obviously not be doing this on a real patient. You won't be cutting away their gums, but just to show you um, the ridge better, I've gone ahead and cut it away. Again, don't, don't do this. So you're gonna approach the ridge with your drill and you wanna make sure that your water is turned on so that your water on the motor is turned on and you're gonna run it before it touches the bone. So I'm gonna go ahead and start running it and just use it to lightly adjust the ridge. Now that the ridge is smoothed out, and remember that part was completely optional. If you have a fairly smooth ridge and you're able to get a good purchase directly with this Lance Pilot Drill, you can go ahead and just start using this first. But anyway, um, now that the ridge is, is um, smoothed out, I'm gonna approach and see if I can just stick it on the ridge. You're just gonna try to pinpoint where that midpoint is and see if you can get it to stick and apply a little bit of pressure. So I apply a little bit of pressure I'm able to make a little dimple right there at the place where I feel is the midpoint. And now I'm gonna go ahead and run the drill before I contact bone and use an up and down motion. I'm gonna use an up and down motion to take this to about six millimeters or so. The first line is eight millimeters, so you don't have to take it all the way down to the first line. So I've made my preparation, and this is almost down to that first line, so it's almost at eight millimeters. And now what you wanna do is take this out and put your parallel pin in. So this is the parallel pin from the kit. So I'm just gonna put that inside. And then it's time for an x-ray. 